Fast Felix was founded in 1967 by a cardiologist from Perth, Dr. Tom Cullity. He wanted to make the best possible wine that he could make. In 1972, the first Vas Felix wine was actually made, which today is regarded as the first wine made in the Mother River region. We are the founding wine estate of one of the youngest wine regions in Australia. We're also one of the absolute premium. The region is actually here for the long term and it's already proven its worth in the wine world. We contribute as a region around 20% of Australia's premium wine production. Vast Felix today is considered to be one of the larger wineries in Margaret River, probably employing around 40 to 45 full-time staff. We have over the years received a number of awards for our wines, but also recently we were actually named the New World Winery of the Year. Vast Felix has been exporting wines to ASEAN for around 20 years. We've really been trying to export the right wines to the right markets. There's been a lot of time spent building relationships with importers, with distributors in these different countries. Even in this very, very strange year that we're experiencing, we're actually seeing still some of those relationships really bear fruit. So Singapore is, a, is an incredibly important market. If you can sell uh, your wines in Singapore, you're actually selling in what I consider to be one of the toughest wine markets on the planet. Such a freight hub, such an international port. It's been a market where we've seen some real success. As many of the Asian markets are, I think they're really so well fitted to Margaret River because people are looking for quality and that's exactly what Margaret River can actually provide. But we're also now seeing a little bit more interest and uptake from Indonesia with some great relationships having been formed there and Vietnam as well. As an emerging market, it's very important. To some degrees, it's an established market as well. I think the, the ASEAN market offers a number of opportunities. There's a real growth that is generally occurring in these markets. There's a little bit of diversity that you can bring into the, into the business as well. To be reliant on one market, of course, is not a great idea. By diversifying into different markets, we can perhaps also help to diminish any fluctuations, economic or otherwise. The key this year to actually uh, maintaining relationships and trying to build on any success that we've had in some of these markets, I think it's simply come down to communication. Although we haven't been able to actually physically be in the market this year, things like Skype meetings and using Zoom and other platforms. The, the, the importance of the digital media has been undeniable. The way that we have developed our relationships has really been from the ground up and I think that has helped to build a closer relationship. The ASEAN market is really important about Felix and, and our future goals. The vision there is to establish Vast Felix as one of the wine estates of the world. We think we have all of the ingredients to really position and prove that Vast Felix is actually one of the wine estates of the world, considered in the upper echelons with estates from, of course, from France, from California. To that end, we feel like the ASEAN markets are so important. The diversification that also comes from having these different markets is just so important because there's no guarantees in the future. Businesses like that, Steelix, have a number of things that they can offer the ASEAN market. Quality is incredibly high, really is a food bowl, this entire southwest of Western Australia, but of course other parts of the state. I can show people the actual vines that have produced the fruit that have gone into these wines that are on this table next to me. Marta River, Bass Felix, Western Australia, we can do that to a T. So the products are incredibly consistent and that's obviously incredibly important for the end consumer, but it's also important for different players throughout the supply chain as well. I think West Australian businesses could better access opportunities presented by ASEAN with continued government assistance, whether that's federal government to, to export government assistance, government assistance to regions or government assistance to businesses to help them understand and evaluate markets and trends, how to navigate in those markets as well. In this uh, very strange year that we find ourselves in, I think that's never been more important.